Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I can't tell if my camera is crooked or if it's my eyes that are crooked. Who knows? Hope you guys are having a good Friday. Let's make sure I'm in the right place. It's a gloomy, yucky day here today. And I just really would like to go lay down <laughs> and take a nap. Do you guys feel like that when it's gloomy and yucky? All right, let's see. I can find the video, make sure I can see you guys. All right. Hello, you guys. Valentine's Day is getting close. I just went to Target and bought, Hello not Halloween, oh my gosh, Valentine's candy for my kids. And uh, there's still a lot there. You know, as you get closer, there's not a lot left in the store, but there was a lot there today. Um, we're gonna be using the Adoring Hearts. I keep thinking it's Adorning Hearts, but it's Adoring Hearts. And this is a bundle that has a embossing folder, the stamp set, of course, and the dies. And it is designed, well, it is designed to also use a brayer. And I didn't really think that I needed a brayer in my life, but now that I've been playing with it, I've become very addicted to it. So I'm gonna show you guys today um, how fun this is. Uh, we're gonna ink up our embossing folder and we're gonna cut and emboss and ink all at the same time, which is pretty magical. So that's what we're doing today. I've got three um, Valentine projects. I mean, one says Valentine's Day, the other two could just be I love you projects. I don't know, Valentine themed, all right? All right, so before we get started, I wanna tell you, um, if you haven't joined us for Facebook Friday first, I, over my blog, my blog post is supposed to go live right at the same time, so if one of you will go there and check it, make sure it's up. There's a free PDF that looks like this over there, and it'll have the measurements and the supply list for the projects that we're doing today. Um, we have a new All-Star Tutorial bundle. February is Perennial Lavender. There are 12 projects in here. Every month, me and 11 other demonstrators come up with 12 projects for you. We film videos and then our trusty leader, Bruno, he compiles them in a PDF for us. Um, so it has measurements and supply lists. Measurements are both in Imperial and metric. Um, and this month, every month we pick a different suite to use. And this month it is the Perennial Lavender Suite, which I'm sure you guys have seen. If you haven't already ordered, it's beautiful. My project this month is a little... Um, it's got an angled side, and inside is a lavender shower steamer. If you guys use shower steamers, they're very cool. Um, so that's my project this month. You can get this, you get that project, plus 11 others in here. Um, like I said, they're all videos. Uh, you can get it for free when you spend $50 with me um, in the month of February, or you can buy it for $15 in my PDF store, which is the, the um, tab at the top of my blog. It says shop and then PDF store under that drop down menu. Um, or if you join my team, my team gets all my PDFs for free. Um, if you buy the starter kit for me and you're in my first level, you get all my PDFs for free. I've had a couple of questions on that this week. If you're already on my team, you already have access to all of these. There's a page over on our team blog that has all the PDFs. Okay, I just add them as they come out. I add them to that page so you have access to all of them. Something is blowing around. I have a fan on, it's making a weird noise. Anyhow, that's for February, okay? Brand new, it is in my PDF store if you would like to buy the PDF, if you are not gonna shop with me. But if you're gonna shop with me, wait, because I'm gonna send it to you for free. All right, um, I'm gonna flip you guys down because I have a lot of things to show you, okay? Um. We have two new kits that I wanna show you guys in our Stampin' Up! store over in the kit section. Uh-oh, I have things stacked on them. I got them, I overnighted them, and they're here. This first kit is a birthday kit, and it's really cute. Um, it is birthday cards and birthday tags. It has a cute little stamp set, and it has an early espresso ink spot. All right, I know some of you love kits. These, we're gonna have two new kits every month. Um, when you go to the stampinup.com website, uh, there's a tab at the top that says, what does it say, shop, 
And when you drop down, depends on if you're on your computer, if you're on your iPad, if you're on your phone, but in there, there's a section that says kits. So this kit is in there, okay? This is a brand new one. It's craft and gold, which is a really fun color combo. And then the second kit, you guys, when it came in my box today, I was like, what is this? Um, look at the box. It's big and chunky. This is a home decor kit. And inside are supplies to make four little framed plants. Um, very, very cute. The, it comes with four frames and four different plants. Um, this is a non-stamping kit. So really just about anybody could do this kit. Pretty sure it doesn't require any skill. <laughs> Bonnie, you ordered this today? Good, it's so cute. So they're little square frames. And then uh, I can't remember the prices off the top of my head. So if you know the price of these kits, please tell us in the comments. I should have looked. I can't remember. I did order them yesterday. You'd think I'd know. And then in here it has these little mats and little, they're like little um, paper pieces and you piece together the, the little plants. So anyhow, that's one of our new kits. The box itself I think is worth the purchase. I love a good box. This would be good for storing all your little ink spots or your kit stamp sets. It's really cute. Okay, so uh, 25 or 23. Thank you, Bonnie. Um, so I'm guessing the one with the stamps is probably 25. Or maybe the one with the frames is 25. I don't know. 25, 23. Pretty close to the same price. Thanks for checking on that. Um, next up, how about the Easter classes? Did you guys get my email? Easter, I've got two Easter classes to go this month. Um, you think they're saying they're both 23? Home decor, okay, thanks. Trisha says home decor is 25. And then I'm guessing the other one is 23, maybe. Either way, it's about the same, right? Um, two Easter classes to go. Excellent eggs, which is a 3D class. Look at that shaker box, super cute. If you like to make Easter treats. This is the one for you. Five treat boxes. How cute, you guys. I mean, come on. I'm using this bundle. Um, and then the other one is for my card makers. Beautiful, beautiful cards using the Easter lilies. Um, stamp set and dies right here. All right, so you can get one class kit or you can get both. Um, if you get both, they ship together and you only pay shipping once. Um, I, if you get the class kits with the bundles, you also get celebration items, which by the way, we have new celebration items. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Okay, good. We have clarification. Birthday kit is 23. Home uh, decor kit, the plant frame kit is 25. Thank you, Tony and Trish. I appreciate it. Um, so registration is open for these. I can't put the registration link on my website or on Facebook. I can only send it in an email. I sent it out day before yesterday in an email, or maybe it was yesterday. So uh, if you're on my email list, it's there. If not, just send me an email and say, I'd like the link, please. There is a blog post that has all the details. You can get either kit with or without the bundle. Um, they each come with some product, like a bolt of uh, ribbon. I, if I, well, I don't wanna, I should have written it down. You think I'd remember these things. I seriously just typed it up on Sunday. Why can't I remember? Anyway, they come with product. You'll have product left over in your kits to make even more projects. So if you want the details, go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and it was on uh, Wednesday's blog post, okay? Deadline for this is uh, the 21st, I believe. Yep, and they will ship the 28th, okay? Any questions about the Easter classes? Easter. How are we at Easter already, you guys? There was Easter candy at Target today. I actually got Easter candy about a week and a half ago at Target to make those projects. Um, Club Create this month. The deadline for February's Perennial Lavender Club Create kit is coming up on the 7th. These projects are completely different than what you'll find in my all-star PDF that I just showed you. It's two totally separate deals. Um, the painted Perennial Lavender Club Create Kit deadline to subscribe is February 7th. Um, it is $45. You get about $25 in product, 
five projects, PDF, shipping, and a about 45 minute video. Um, they come like this and uh, they ship on the 21st of February. All right, so deadline, hard deadline for these is on the 7th, which is, I put my shades down over my calendar and I can't see it. 7th is on Wednesday, so you have till Wednesday, okay? If you're already a Club Create subscriber, don't worry. You are in, you are fine, don't worry. Now, I have finished my March Club Create kit. Uh, March Club Create kit features the trusty tools and I finished this one just about two days ago and oh my gosh, so fun. I am so glad that we have this masculine set. Um, the little tools are so fun. Um, I have been collecting paper. Um, this is celebration paper, but I have been collecting paper since the beginning of celebration so that everybody who gets a Club Create kit in March will also be getting um, some of this designer series paper. Um, if you want to subscribe for the Trusty Tools Club Create Kit, that's March, and you're not already a Club Create subscriber, wait till the 8th on Thursday. That's If you subscribe on Thursday, that's when that will go into the Trusty Tools subscription period. My subscription periods are weird. I set it up weird years ago, and now I can't change it. The subscription period is from the 8th to the 7th. So like January 8th to February 7th is the February subscription period. I know. I didn't have the foresight of how confusing that would be, but it is what it is. Oh well. Okay, so that is that. If you have questions about Club Create, it is a subscription. $45 a month, you get about $25 in product. There's a really dark area over here. I wonder if I take this down, if it'll be less dark. Um, it is a subscription club, which means you will be charged each month until you cancel. And you can cancel any time. I mean, you could sign up for a kit and cancel that same day because you're like, I just want the one kit. That's totally fine. But if you stay for six consecutive months, you get $25 product credit, which means you get to sh go shopping and I will send you whatever you want worth $25 in your six month kit. Okay, let me show you real quick before we get into our projects today, our new celebration items. You guys, we didn't even know that this was happening. Um, we got word, leaders got word of this on Monday that there was a second release of celebration items um, and that was all we knew. Um, if you're un unfamiliar with celebration during January and February, if you, um, spend either 50 or $100, you get something for free from this catalog. It's cumulative. So let's say you spend $150, you could get three of the free with a $50 item, or you could get $100 and $150. It's cumulative, okay? So here's the catalog of what is available. Um, right now, I noticed that the stippled, what's it called? Softly stippled designer series paper. It says it's on unorderable but that it's coming back in stock i don't know i thought it was while supplies last but maybe i was wrong but i think maybe that's coming back but everything else is available as the last time i looked but as of yesterday we have new things that you can order i know that my lights are not going to be real good for this but i just want to point out to you now if you're like i already have everything i want well guess what now you have more things to choose from um, you can choose, when you spend $50, you can choose the Sweet Thoughts, Memories, and More Cards and Envelopes. These are card bases with coordinating envelopes. That's a really good selection. Um, the Robot Bud Buddies Kids Card Kit. Um, delightfully Eclectic 12 by 12 This is my favorite paper in the annual catalog, and now you can get it for free. And that's a huge stack of paper. It's not a normal pack. It's a like a huge pack. Um, you can get the stripes and splatters embossing folder. You can get the Just Kidding DSP, which is so stinking cute. Um, the Botanical Layers Cling Stamp Set. Love this memory notebook kit. I love that they've added some kits in here. Beside Me Cling Stamp Set. Okay, so those are in addition to all the other things that you've already been able to choose from. And you'll probably recognize that those things are from the annual catalog. 
Um, well, I guess the the Just Kidding papers from the spring catalog. So it's all current product that you can choose for free. And then they added two things over here to the free with a $100 purchase, the new core color stamp and write markers. Oops, I didn't mean to open that. And then the Dragonfly Punch. All right. All right. So you have until February 29th. It's a long month, extra long, leap year. So you have an extra day. Oh, what happened? Facebook, why? So you have an extra day this year to shop celebration. All right, let me pull this back up. Let me find you guys. Okay, so celebration. Any questions with that, you guys? Hi, everybody who's joined. So good to see you. Aw, oh, so good. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost ready to stamp. What time is it? Today's projects take a little bit of time, so I want to kind of hurry up. All right, Facebook Friday. We are using the Adorning, see, I said it wrong, the Adoring Hearts Bundle. Um, over at pinkbuckaroo.com, there is a free PDF for you under the last photo. It has measurements, supply list, and all the things that I just talked about. Um, with links, if you want to go read the blog post, it'll give you more information. Um, there's a host code up here too. So the second, the other part of Facebook Friday is that if you like today's projects and you want me to send them to you as a little project kit, I will do that for free. Um, if you spend $50, no, $35 with me between now and Monday at midnight, and please use this host code. If you don't use the host code, then I think, oh, she didn't want the projects. There's one little asterisk to that though. If, you, if your order ends up being over $150, don't use the host code because then you're gonna, not only are you gonna get three free celebration items, you're gonna get stamp and rewards if you spend over $150. And I will automatically send these to you, okay? But if you apply that host code to a large order, it's gonna take those stamp and rewards away from you. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to get the stamp and rewards. Um, but if your order is under $150, please use that host code. And that will tell me that you want the projects. Okay, and I the cutoff for those are Monday at midnight. Tuesday morning is always reserved for putting those packets together. So make sure you get that order in by Monday at midnight. Um, hold on, I'm going to mess around with some lighting here. I don't know. I'm still, oh, that's better. I'm still working with the lighting. It's just a constant battle in here. Okay, how about a prize from last week? Perennial postage, Cindy Schrock. I picked her over at YouTube. Cindy, thanks for sharing. Um, I'm glad I could make you laugh last week. Um, you are the winner of perennial postage, the perennial postage bundle. Cindy, I think I have your mailing address, but email me just in case because people move and I don't want to send it to the wrong place, okay? All right, um, this week I'm going to be giving away the fluffiest friends, one of the cutest. This is an online exclusive, guys only available online. It is the cutest bundle. So this, I'll choose somebody um, at random who shares the video either on Facebook or YouTube uh, to win this next week. Okay, we are ready to go. Now it is celebration, so keep in mind, I'm not focusing, the last four weeks, our Facebook Lives have all been celebration items that I've been showcasing. But today, I have chosen some uh, something from the spring catalog. Um, but just remember that when you shop, no matter what you buy, as long as it's $50, Stampin' Up's gonna automatically ask you what you want for free, all right? And we'll talk about the glass mat here in a little while too that you could get. Okay, so did you guys see the picture I posted yesterday? I pulled out my brayer last week and this bundle and I started making hearts. Here's yesterday's card. And I made hearts and hearts and hearts and hearts. And I was like, this is so fun. They're so cute. I couldn't decide which color I like the best. I just kept making them. So the one of the, the first ideas I had when I looked at this bundle was a box of chocolates. Um, and so that's kind of the idea I was going for when I made this card. Um, brown may not be the first color you think of <laughs> when you're going to make some hearts but I think they look like chocolate. You know what, let me grab this box over here because I couldn't decide if I wanted to use pecan pie or early espresso. Um, so let me show you. So I guess you can decide if you like dark chocolate or milk chocolate. <laughs> At my, in my house, my kids are like disgusted by dark chocolate. So, um, 
the dark chocolate is cute, but we're going to do pecan pie as milk chocolate today. Okay, now you may think, mm, that brayer business, Erica, that seems like a lot of work. It seems like um, a little more mess than I want to make. And I hear you, but let me tell you, it really isn't difficult and it's not messy either. Now I see on my end that Facebook's doing some weird, like jumbly, kind of um, glitchy, yeah, freezing. I can see it too, Nancy. I have no control over it. It is the interwebs. It is the <laughs> satellites <laughs> up in space. So just be patient. If it's really glitching for you, what I recommend is coming and watching it when I'm done because Facebook does something, it like records it and then uploads it and it's smooth. So unfortunately, I can't fix freezing for you guys. I cannot. Okay, anyhow, let me show you how easy this is. Brayer, pecan pie, embossing folder. Okay. Now we have inked embossing folders before, right? And we like tap, 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 tap like that. And it's kind of messy. When you use a brayer, it's only going to get ink on those raised parts of the folder. The brayer, um, we've had a brayer in the past. Uh, we've had two brayers before. We had a foam one that I didn't like. This one is rubber and it has these little legs, these little feet on it. So um, when you have ink on it and you set it down in your desk, those little legs, I don't know if you guys can see, pretend like this is the desk. It sets it down so that the roller isn't touching your desk. It's not gonna get the ink on there. Um, when you ink it, turn those feet up so they don't accidentally scrape your embossing, I mean your um, ink pad, okay? Now to get ink on your brayer um, as evenly as you can, you wanna kind of move your brayer around See how I'm just kind of rolling backwards and forwards? And um, if you just went like this, doo, 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 you're only gonna have a little bit of ink right there. So you wanna move it around forwards and backwards, okay? And then you just roll it on. One tip I will say that is important is that your ink pad should be pretty juicy, okay? If you need to re-ink your ink pad before you do this, do that. Um, I like to ink both sides because then it gives me choices. One side is going to put the ink on the embossed side. One's going to put the ink on the debossed side. I don't know. You'll see in a minute. It's hard to explain, but it's basically the raised surface. So see, these two are the same, but you can see this one's going to put more ink. You're going to have more solid filled in ink here. When over here, it's just put the ink on the raised dots and the little leaves, okay? Okay, so once you've got that, look at them. Make sure you've got, this one right here is not inking up very well. There we go. Luckily, pumpkin, I mean, pecan pie, you can see really well. We're gonna use bubble bath on the third project and it's a lot harder to see. Okay, now this is one of those folders where you can cut and emboss at the same time. So I'm gonna lay this die down in here. I've got a piece of pecan pie that is six by six. I'm gonna lay it down and then I'm gonna close it like this. I have run it through my cut and emboss machine with the die on the top and the die on the bottom and it seems to work fine both ways. I just feel like if I flip it with that die on the top, I run the chance of it slipping and not being in the right place. So I like to leave it on the bottom. Take off all your plates except one. Put number four on top and roll it through. Now it is a tight fit, so don't panic. And when you open it up, you've got these cute chocolate hearts. So stinking cute. All right. Now this piece, this negative piece that I just showed you right here, I use this to make a card. I'm gonna show you at the very end um, because it's cute too. It's got some raised little hearts there that get inked as well. All right, now how do I clean this? Well, I run to the bathroom and rinse it off, which I'm gonna do when we're done here in a second. And you guys are gonna wait for like 10 seconds, okay? <laughs> well, we'll do that in a minute. Um, now, I, you can also, Take your chamois, this is the chamois that came with my 
um, glass mat, which is one of the free things that you get in your celebration kit when you buy it in um, during celebration. And I did clean it off on this, but it gets really messy really fast. So I just prefer to run over there and rinse it with water, both the brayer and the embossing folder. All right, now let's get our card put together. Um, I am gonna use a real red card base and I have got a gold foil contour scallop rectangle. And <laughs> thanks, Kathy. I just bought boxes of chocolate for my girls. So while I was there, I was thinking about this card. We're gonna put a piece of black in there. And then let's grab dimensionals somewhere, you know, up here we go. Here's one that's open. Okay. Um, to get these equally spaced and even, you're just gonna have to play around with it. Um, what I do is I stick them down just slightly and then I um, push them in when I get them all straight. And so I kind of like to play around. See, this is how they will ink. One side will look like this and one side will look like that. So you can decide which ones you like best. I kind of like to mix them up and play with it a little bit. Let's put this one right here. And let's put this one, let's do this one next. And this one. Now, if you really um, wanna make sure that yours is nice and straight, get your ruler and your grid paper or your glass mat. It has some straight grid lines on it too. But for me, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not that much of a perfectionist that it's gonna bother me. I'm just gonna get it close enough, okay? <laughs> All right, let's put this one here. And we'll do this one. This is a really cute one. This one here. There's three different patterns of hearts. And then we need this one, the opposite of that one. And we'll put that right there. Does that look straight to you guys? I think it's straight enough, don't you? straight enough and now you've got three left over to do whatever you want you know what actually we're gonna do we're gonna put one of them inside so hold on to one of them all right dimensionals again on our card front dimensionals 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 did you guys hear that the ground groundhog did not see his shadow today when I taught kindergarten, Groundhog Day was a big day. It was very exciting. <laughs> if he doesn't see his shadow, that means an early spring. If he does see his shadow, that means six more weeks of winter. So, I don't know, guys. He only, I heard Al Roker say today, he only has a 40% accuracy rate. <laughs> the Puxatawney Phil, the, the Groundhog. All right, I have cut a, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I have cut a basic black stylus shape banner and I've rubbed it with my embossing buddy. And we're gonna stamp it to my Valentine. Hope Ted's not watching because this is gonna be his card. To my Valentine in Versamark. And then we'll get some gold embossing powder. And this is a really good time to use your reverse tweezers that come in your, that embossing additions kit. Sprinkle that on. Boop, boop. Oh man, I hate when I get it on my desk. And then hit it with a heat tool. About 10 or 15 seconds. You'll know. You know, I've never timed it. I should time it. Because I'm always like, is it 10 seconds? Is it 20 seconds? How long does it take? All right, you'll know when it's nice and shiny. All right, let's see if we can get all that off. To my Valentine. Now, I didn't use any embellishments on this card. I really felt like if I added anything else, it would just be too much. Um, you know, Susan, I don't think so. Um, and when you say when he has time, let me tell you, he's got a lot of time on his hands. He uh, works from home now too. And I just see how different our jobs are. <laughs> he gets mad at me. I'm like, um, if you're not that busy, come on down and help me. 
He's got a lot of time, but I think it's elk hunting videos that he's watching and not his wife's Facebook live, which is fine. <laughs> I don't think it's him. I mean, I don't think that's what he's watching. Okay, where's my red ink pad? Hold on, I had it, where did it go? I used it. Elk hunting is his obsession these days, that and running. Oh my gosh, running has been his, his other obsession. I guess there are worse things, right? Okay, on the inside, I did two different things. The first card that I made, I stamped it like this and put I adore you on the inside and I didn't think it fit very well. So on the second card, I decided let's just leave the I adore you off and stick one of our leftover chocolates right in the middle like that. That's cute, right? And then put that on the inside and you're done. Now you can make nine hearts each swipe of your, of your embossing folder. So if you go through twice, you have enough to make three cards, right? Three, six, nine, yeah, you have enough to make three cards. Cute, what do you guys think? That's it, so easy, right? So easy, but super cute. Okay, while you're admiring my card, <laughs> I'm gonna rinse this off in the sink. Hold on, please. I even thought about maybe I should order two brayers so I don't have to clean it in the middle of Facebook Live. But then I was like, you guys don't care. You'll sit there and wait for me. Okay, so see, it has a little bit of staining, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, it, I mean that's just a sign of a well-loved embossing folder, right? Okay, we're going to set that aside. We're going to save the brayering for the third project. Thanks, Mary. I appreciate it. I like it, too. It was the first idea that popped in my head. And I was like, how am I going to bring this idea in my head into fruition? And I'm glad it worked. And it wasn't too complicated. Okay, let me get my, my stuff together. Let me get everything organized so we're not, like, buried under a giant tornado of a mess. Okay, little Debbie, she's back. Little Debbie. Um, when I was at Target today, um, let me just show you guys my addiction. I wish my addiction was running or lifting weights like my husband, but no, this is my, my addiction right now. Have you guys had these? Okay, they, the, the thing I like about these is that they come in a single, so you don't feel so bad when you just eat one. You know the other nut or Nutty Buddies are doubles, so if you open one package, you have to eat both. Well, these are singles, and they're only 120 calories. <laughs> That's not bad, right? Okay, that's not what we're using today, but I just wanted to share you one of my favorite things. These, however, is what we're using. These are strawberry flavored Valentine cakes. How cute, right? Um, how much are they? They usually have the price on it. You know, they're like $2 or something. Available pretty much at every grocery store. Um, if you can't find them in your area, use the Little Debbie Snack Finder. I linked it on today's blog post. Um, you enter your zip code, you choose the cake, and it'll tell you which store in your area has it. Um, <laughs> Carla, you're welcome. We are on the same wavelength, aren't we, all the time? Um, okay, so I made this little box. We're going to make a little strawberry out of one of our hearts, and it lifts up, and there's your De little Debbie cakes inside, okay? And the sentiment says, you are most loved. Now this time we're not gonna use the embossing folder, we're gonna use the dies. I'm gonna show you how to make those hearts. Um, but first, let's make the box. And let's see if I can get it right today. Place your butts. Will she screw it up today? I don't know, let's see, let me get my assembly scored. It's 50-50, I don't know, I'm about as good as Puxatawney Phil. Okay. Let me look at my, you know, I'm gonna get my notebook just in case, because I know these measurements are right with my scribbly notebook. Okay, for the bottom, let's do the bottom first. Flirty Flamingo, five and a half by eight and a half. And on the long side, we're gonna score it at one, four, five, and I don't think that's right. <laughs> My notes are wrong. 
Um, seven and a half. That's where you should be marking it. No? Hold on. Dang it. It is right. Eight, not eight, not seven and a half. One, four, five, and eight. Why can't I get it right? All right, and then one on the short side, okay? Hold on. Hold, please. Let's make sure. I didn't trust my notes and they were right. Yep, okay. One, four, five, and eight. Never second guess yourself. All right, for the top. The top's gonna have a rounded edge on the bottom, okay? So it's gonna look like that, except we're gonna add a second score line. Um, on the long side, nine inches, we're gonna do one and an eighth, four and a fourth, five and three eighths, and eight and a half. The reason I second guessed myself is because when I did my individual recording yesterday for YouTube, I did mess it up. So then I was like, are my notes wrong or was I just wrong yesterday? I was just wrong yesterday. Short side, one inch and four and a half inches. Me and Puxatani Phil, we're not so good. <laughs> I told my daughter yesterday, or actually today, it was my older daughter I was talking to. She has, a, she's taken a print making class in college and she screwed up her first project, had to start over. It was a lot of, a lot of tears, frustrated. And I said, you can't expect to be perfect every time. I mean, your professor can't even expect that, especially when it's your very first time doing something. This isn't my first time. It's my second time making this box, but whatever. I'm still gonna make myself feel better. Okay, on the half inch tab over here, cut off those corners, okay? Those, those little rectangles right there. Now, let's get, I'm gonna use tear and tape today. I'm gonna take tear and tape. This box is the same on this end as it is on this end, it's symmetrical. So it doesn't matter which side you do this on, but you're gonna roll that up into the inside so that this bottom edge is just kind of uh, reinforced a little bit. And when you do that, get your bone folder again and reinforce those, because now it's really thick and you need to reinforce them, okay? All right, tear and tape. All right, here. Yeah, oh yeah, Carla, very human. <laughs> very human. My daughters, they have a hard time. I don't, I'm, I don't, I guess maybe they get it from me. You're gonna put adhesive here on this short tab and then fold this over. All three of them have a hard time with not being perfect. Um, each struggle with that, but in different ways, with different things, you know? I'm like, who told you you had to be perfect all the time? Not me, surely. All right, the thing I forgot to do is to snip those score lines on the other side before you adhere that. So we can still do that, just snip them. There's just three of them. So that then we can fold this like that. Um, this is your back side where you can see that edge meeting the other edge. So we're gonna put um, do I want to use, you know what, where's my liquid glue? Let's grab that. So we're going to do the sides and then that back flap, and then we'll do the front flap. Okay. It'll be last. So fold that over like that and make sure it's nice and square. Get your bone folder, push it down. Okay. Now the second part, the bottom, is gonna be just the same. I didn't reinforce this one. I didn't think it really needed to be reinforced. And I just wanted to simplify it, so I didn't do that. So cut off that one little rectangle tab, ignore that rogue score line there, and then snip, snip, snip. Okay. And tear and tape right here on this long side. Pull that backing off, fold it over, fold it over. There you go, there's your box. Again, we know which side is the back side, right? Um, <laughs> the one with the rogue score line. Fold the sides, the back, and then the front flap. All right, now we've got two pieces of our box, the lid 
and the bottom. We're gonna slide our strawberry cakes down in there and then the lid just slides on top like that. Okay, you can push it down or I kinda like to leave it sticking up a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna use some burlap ribbon. It's not really burlap. I don't know why they called it. It's really a grow, grow grain ribbon. And it comes in the combo pack, real red and burlap. Hi Judy, thanks for sharing. And we'll tie a bow on the side like that. I think it, they should call it crumb cake because it matches perfectly our crumb cake cardstock. Do I have good scissors? I do. Okay, so we've got our box made. Now let's make our hearts. And did I lose all my pieces of, you know, they're right here. I forgot to put the DSP on there. Ah, the best part, the gingham lavender perennial, no, painted lavender designer series paper. Let's slide it in right here. There you go, cute, right? You'd never know it has purple on the back. All right, to make our hearts, to make our little, let's look at them again, they're so cute. They are, we're gonna cut out the little intricate piece and we're gonna glue it onto the more puffy heart. Um, and then we're gonna use Wink of Stella. The, the back heart, the puffy heart, is the big die right here. The more intricate hearts are these right here. So I'm just gonna take this one and this one. And when you are gonna glue something that is super intricate like that, it would behoove you, I love that word, it would behoove you to use an adhesive sheet on the back of your cardstock, okay? It would be best, it would be best if you put adhesive sheet on the back and turn these puppies into stickers. That way you don't have to make a giant mess with your adhesive like I do every single time. All right, here's the adhesive on the back. We're gonna put these right here like that. And we're gonna run it through. Let's go through twice for good measure. All right, now they are stickers. Have you guys found something new to watch that you need to share with a group? We always share what we're watching on TV. Masters of the Air is a new World War II series on Apple TV. It's very good if you like that kind of thing. It's, uh, did we talk about it last week? It just started last Friday. There's only been two episodes. I hate it when they do that. Now the third episode, I guess, comes out today. But it's directed by Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks, producer. It's very Band of Brothers-ish. You guys should check it out. They said it's one of the most expensive TV shows ever made. 250 million, yes. I'm full of facts today. Okay, here are our intricate hearts. Um, the Crown season six, Carla, is one of the best things that ever happened on television, the whole series. I loved it. I loved it so, so much. I had no idea how they were gonna end that and they did it perfectly. It was a perfect ending. Death and other details, ooh, that sounds good. What is that on? Kimberly, death and other details. Hi, Lois. My husband owns a TV remote. I watch nothing when he, <laughs> we have to find something to agree on, but that Masters of the Air, is that what it's called, Masters of the Air? He would like it, probably. My husband loves it. And I like it because it's beautiful, beautifully shot. All right, so glue this on here. Peel that backing off. Fool me once, where have I seen that? I've heard that, I've heard of fool me once. Kimberly, Netflix, okay. Um, the Bear, oh Denise, The Bear, one of my very favorites. So good, yes, love The Bear. My husband likes it, but he says it stresses him out. He doesn't like confrontation. <laughs> so The Bear stresses him out. He just wants everybody to be happy. Okay, now, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and just brush it in between the top layer, the little sections. And when I first thought about doing this, I thought, well, that's gonna be really hard. It's not hard at all. 
Wink of Stella has a really fine tip and it fits in those little nooks and crannies really, really easily. And so when you do this, it's gonna give you some variation because we did just tone on tone, you know, um, flirty flamingo on the top, flirty flamingo on the bottom. We wanna add just a little bit of distinction between the two. Can you guys see the shimmer? It's really pretty. See how it just kind of adds a little bit? All right, now for our heart. Now here comes the hard part for this, okay? I'm gonna actually, now I'm gonna wait. If you have a white gel pen, use a white gel pen, okay, for this, because the way I'm gonna show you is a little bit tricky and messy and takes a little bit of time to dry. But I don't have a white gel pen, so I'm gonna use, oh, I just stuck my finger in it. Jeez oh, Louise, oh, do I have my, oh, look, I have my chamois. I'm gonna use this um, awesome little silicone mat that comes with, the glass mat, if you guys haven't joined me yet for Facebook Live, I've been showing the glass mat. Looks like this. It's what you can get as part of your starter kit in January and February. It's a $60 value and you get it for, for free in your starter kit. But it comes with a glass mat, it comes with this little chamois, and it also has this silicone mat, which you can use for all your messy things if you don't stick your finger in it like me. All right, to make my hearts, I'm just gonna use a toothpick. And I squirted some Craft White ink on here. And the thing about Craft White is that it's not gonna dry until you dry it. I mean, eventually it will dry. So for this little heart, for it to dry, you're gonna need to leave it. Um, I found 24 hours, did it? But if you don't have 24 hours, you need to use your heat tool but you gotta be real careful not to stick your fingers in it. You know, go set it somewhere to dry. Okay, cute, right? So cute. Um, but I don't have that time, that kind of time. So I'm gonna take this and move it way over here. And I'm gonna bring one over that I made yesterday. And we're gonna stick these little, I cut two of these, this is in the same die set, the Adoring Hearts. We're gonna snip one and put it on the front. This one's kind of a mess, I didn't do very, I was in a hurry, did not do a good job on this one. Like this, okay? And then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do, this is what I call the cheater method. I'm gonna flip it over and take my second one and I'm gonna put a dimensional on top of it, like that. Okay, so there is your cute little strawberry to go with your strawberry cakes. Okay, we're almost done. Let's stamp the sentiment. I love, I wish I could write like this, this scripty font. You are most loved right here on this white Thoughtful Expressions, that's the new die set, Thoughtful Expressions in Crumb Cake. And then we'll do our two Flirty Flamingo Hearts. We're gonna just do them overlapping like that. And then we'll take our Strawberry Heart and put it right in the middle. Well, this one needs to go up a little bit higher. like that okay and then last but not least we'll put it right here on our box and we'll give it to so you think that that's appropriate to give to my mailman <laughs> you are most loved is that weird i don't know i don't know he's a guy you might think that's weird I don't know if I'm brave enough to give him that. I think the next one would be better for him. You guys, it'll, you'll see, it says just for you. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, what are you talking about? Miss Scarlet and the Duke, all creatures great and small on PBS. I just canceled my PBS, Susan, and I, cause I wasn't watching it. Dang it, I wonder if it's, 
I wonder if I still have paid for it for the rest of February. I'm gonna have to check that out. Okay, I will look. Because Nidia says also the Duke is handsome. Well, hello, let's watch it. <laughs> I like British. Is it is it like um, 1800s type, you know, kind of Regency? I like those those kinds of shows. Okay, we've got one more, you guys. One more. We're going to use the brayer again. Let me clean up my mess. Let me get all of my goodies in the right place. And we're going to make one more thing. This time, we are going to make these little pink boxes. And inside, let's see, I'm gonna show you my original, and then I'll show you the one, the, the second one. Inside are six Hershey Nuggets. Now, how cute are these little nuggets? They came in a little package of nuggets I got at, oh, maybe my grocery store. And when I opened them, I was like, well, those are cute. Okay, very cute, but, the nuggets that I that you normally get don't look like that. So we're gonna wrap them in DSP. I'll show you the next box. Okay. Hershey nuggets. I know if you're in Canada, you guys don't get those nuggets, right? They always get hate mail when I use nuggets <laughs> from people in Canada. We can't get those. See, we'll wrap them in DSP. Oh, that one came undone. Okay, isn't that cute? Very cute. All right, so we're gonna use bubble bath. Bubble bath ink, bubble bath cardstock, bubble bath ribbon. I mean, could it get any cuter? All right, let's make our box first so it has time to dry, okay? Here's the box of nuggets or the bag of nuggets that I ordered from Target. I mean, at Amazon. I have about a thousand nuggets now to be using for the next few years. <laughs> There's a lot in there, a lot. Okay, let me grab my simply scored back over here and look at my notes and see if we can get it right this time. Five and a fourth by eight on the long side, three fourths, one and a half, six and a half, and seven and a fourth. Turn it to the short side, three fourths, two and a fourth, three and four and a half. Now, the measurements are on the PDF today, free on the blog. Make sure you go over there and grab it. Save it, print it, do whatever you want. All right, burnish your lines. My nails match bubble bath today. Let's burnish them. Thanks, Lois. My nail girl, I have a new nail girl that I love. She's leaving. She'll be back. She's going to be gone for six weeks. So I told her, can you give me some nails that will last six weeks? She thought that was funny. I, I guess I guess the answer was no, but they're cute, right? We'll see if she recommended someone else. We'll see how they do. Okay, this piece is asymmetrical also. So the first thing we're going to do is cut away four of the pieces from either side, okay? It's uh, two squares and two rectangles. Snip, snip. Snip, snip, all the way down. Okay. Now, over here, we're going to cut off these squares. And when you do, cut from this side and go all the way down like that. And then cut that square off. All the way down. And cut that square off. Now cut the outside corners off of those squares and just a real shallow corner here as well. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Cut all the way down, cut the corner off, all the way down, cut the corner off, snip the outside corners outside corners, shallow corner, shallow corner, and that's, oh wait, one more, cut these corners off too. Corner, corner, and that's what your piece should look like. Seems complicated, but once you do it once, it's really easy. All right, we're gonna take some liquid glue 
and put it just right here. That's all the glue that you need. And we'll fold these up and into the sides. And then that other side folds down and pinches that down. And you can get your clothespin to hold it closed. Okay, so close, fold in those sides, wrap that end over, and there we go. And there's your box. Easy. Okay, now let's do the fun part. Well, I mean, that was fun too, but this is the really fun part. If I can, why? Come on. Why can't I get this picked up? All right, let's move this. Let's grab this. Where did I put my brayer and my embossing folder? All right, same thing, except this time you're not gonna be able to see it very well because bubble bath is very light, very light. Period P. Susan, and she's a private detective and works for the police, oh. You know, my mom has told me about all creatures. I forgot about that. Late 30s about a veterinary practice. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to check it out because I need something easy and soft to watch, you know, something that's not like murder and war. <laughs> oh. I'm reading a series right now that is a, like a fantasy series and it's getting very violent and I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to take a break from this and find something else. I've got a long to be read list of things and I need to move on. You know, the first one was good. A, a Court of Thorns and Roses, have you guys read that? It's a fantasy series that is always being suggested to me. And so I was like, okay, fine, I'll read it. And it was okay, it was, it was good. But the second and the third, I'm like, oh, this is too much. The narrator's good though. I do like a good narrated book. All right, we did bubble bath on both sides. We're gonna do bubble bath here. Close it. Bring over the cut and emboss machine again. I hope you guys will give this adoring hearts embossing folder a try. It is fun. And the dye itself, even without the embossing plate, I mean, you can cut out nine hearts at one time and I, it'll go through two layers. So that means you could cut out 18 hearts at one time. I like it when I can mass produce with one swoop of my hotel on the corner of Bitter and Sweet. You guys, everybody's been telling me that. I know, Stu, we've had a discussion about this book many times here and I've got to read it. Even my mom said it was very good. She was like, oh, I heard you talking about it. It's very good. Okay, it's on my list. I have a very long to be read list. Very long. Okay, see this right here? I want to pause for a minute and show you that I made another card with it. I, I did the hearts on white this time and just popped them in this little, this piece is from yesterday's video. I just cut it and it fits right there. Put just a little skinny strip of DSP and then put one of the hearts right there. So that'll be on the blog on Monday. Okay nine hearts ready to go and we're gonna layer all of this up on this tag let me bring it over here this is another new die set called everyday details everyday details i'm checking my notes to make sure i'm telling you the right thing yes everyday details everyday details and thoughtful expressions those are kind of hard to remember when you're talking about just dyes. All right, we're gonna put, which one do I like the best? Ooh, that's a good one right there. Mm, okay, I'm gonna save that one for the top. We're gonna put one there, and then we'll put one there. Let's move this one inside the dots. I love these dyes, they have these little dots around the edge, and I've seen people using their little thread to sew through them, it's so cute. I haven't done that yet but I love the idea. All right, we'll put this one in the middle like that. Then I cut out um, these four pieces from Soft Sea Foam. And Soft Sea Foam, I mean, uh, these, the dies are in the same set, okay? They are also from 
Adoring Hearts. The Adoring Hearts doesn't just have hearts. It's got the big heart die. It's got the intricate heart dies. It's got the little skinnier heart that I use for the strawberry. And then it's got this, these little stems. And then it has this white banner. There's only one die in the whole set that we didn't use. And it's that one right there, which also, again, that can cut eight hearts at once if you use two layers. I love a die that can cut multiples. All right, so stick those like that. Then we are gonna stamp the sentiment. And unfortunately, okay, here it is. <laughs> unfortunately, it's right here. Unfortunately, I won't pretend that I, or I will pretend that I saw it the whole time. All right, just for you in soft sea foam. And then we'll get a dimensional, flip it over. I've got a little bit of a mess here with my adhesive. I need to clean that up. And we'll just put that right there. I think that's probably a little more appropriate for my mailman. What do you guys think? I mean, he's loved. I do love that he helps me, but I think he would think that's pretty weird if I said that to him. All right, so nuggets. It holds five nuggets. I cut um, some... This paper is from that celebration paper. I, I didn't even realize that's the paper I use. Something eclectic, or everyday eclectic, something eclectic. What's it called? Let me look at my notes. Oh, well, delightfully eclectic. That, that's one of the papers you can get. It's a huge pack of paper, free with a $50 purchase. These little pieces are just one by three. And you just wrap them around like that. Give them a second to dry. And then you can just set them in here, so cute. Okay, and then this little guy just tucks in like that. This paper, also bubble back, but this is from Poetic Expressions, which is in the spring catalog. You guys, Trisha sent me um, a package of cards. I, sh I will show you them. I have a stack over here of things I need to show you guys. Maybe we'll do that next week. You know how I've been whining about my lost swaps? Trisha sent me a package of swap cards this week of her swap cards that she had made for different swaps. And so I just wanna say, Trisha, that was so thoughtful. I almost cried when I opened it. My husband was like, what's the big deal? I'm like, it was just really thoughtful. Thank you, Trisha. Really sweet, really, really sweet. No movement on the swaps. And by the way, I went to file a claim for my lost swaps and you have to prove, you have to give them a receipt of purchase. You can't file a claim without a receipt. Well, I didn't, I didn't pay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a receipt to show for that, for the value of the cards. And then I was like, okay, well, let's see if I can kind of maybe use something else. Well, then you have to click this thing that says, if you do anything fraudulent with this claim, they're going to send you to jail for the rest of your life. So I was like, um, okay, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to do this because it was making me too nervous. So whatever, fine. USPS, keep my swaps. I hope you're enjoying them. I will get over it someday. Okay. Little piece of DSP, wrap it with your bubble bath ribbon. Stick your tag on and you are done. I was saying yesterday, this is a good sentiment. I don't know if Sandy's on here. Sandy, I know your um, grandson did not want to send Valentine treats to his teachers that had like anything mushy, smushy. I can't remember what it was. There was something on there he didn't like. My kids were the same way. They would not have sent anything to their teacher that said love or, you know, any of that. So this one says just for you. Very platonic, right? Very um, <laughs> non-lovey-dovey. There are some hearts there, but it doesn't say I love you. Anyhow, cute, right? You do it in any colors you want. Pull out your DSP. Do you have some DSP that you have a lot of that you're trying to get rid of? Use that color. What do you guys think? That's a cute little nugget box, isn't it? Really cute. I know, Mary, I'm gonna, I'm, you all, you've prayed to St. Anthony, help find them, thank you. You know, I'm, I'm trying not to think about it. I'm trying to be like, they're gone, it's fine, whatever. But I still, every day when I get my informed delivery email from USPS, I'm like, please be on there, please be on there. And it never is. 
It never is. Okay, anyhow, let's look. I have this card for you on Monday. Um, this card will be Tuesday. I use the colors from, this is the Up in the Air DSP, a little rainbow card. Very cute. I told you guys I made hearts for days. This one I showed you. This one was yesterday, and I want to show you guys. Um, I used, I don't know if Nathan's on here, but Nathan, he's on my team. We laugh about this. This perforated, these are, this is, um, there's like a little set of tips you can add to your uh, take your pick tool. And this one is the perforated, you know, it makes perforated line. And when I, when it came out, I was, I joked, like, if you're brave enough to actually use this, because if you're a sewer, you know, you can get those ones that go like this. They're real big and they cut your fabric. Well, the very first time I ever used one of those, I put my thumb right there and sliced my thumb right open. So I was like, I am never using this thing. It's too scary. But I really wanted to put some fake stitching lines in the background of this card. So I did it and it's not so scary. Um, you, you really can't put your thumb that far up anyway. It, it wouldn't, it'd be uncomfortable. So <laughs> um, we're gonna use this next week. Next week we're gonna do rock and roll. Oh my gosh, they may be my favorite projects I've done in a very long time. Um, and we're gonna use this. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, but that was my favorite. I had made the hearts and then I made the background. I was like, well, I don't know which I like better. The, the faux stitching background or the hearts. Both are super fun. All right, those are my bonus projects, you guys. We are done. If you would like me to send you these three as a kit, I will send them for free um, if you put in an order by Monday at midnight. You can order anything that you want. I don't care what you order. Um, when I send you your kit, though, I will not have anything cut with the heart dies. Um, and nothing stamped. You have to do your own stamping. Um, now I will have like this label will be cut, this this little shape will be cut, this one will be cut, but you have to have the stamps, die, embossing folder combo if you wanna make them exactly like mine. Now you may have something else you wanna use and that's totally fine. If you wanna order $30, $35 worth of white card stock, totally works. I will still send you the make and take kit. Um, you can use what you want. I won't even look at what you order. Um, I'll just see your name, host code, boom, you're on my list. And they will go out on probably Wednesday next week. All right, you guys, thanks so much uh, for joining me. Don't forget, if you want to subscribe to February's Club Create Kit, that deadline is Wednesday. And after that, it will be the trusty tools. You guys have a great weekend. Stay warm where you're at. And I will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Have a great week.